this and it came down into the water and this water turned into like this beautiful this the second one we'll do so i actually for my painting that you see here <laughs> i zoomed like, in when i got there i just was so overwhelmed by the colors and how amazing everything was i didn't even know where to start with the water and i had never seen water that color in person and i'm like how the heck do i paint this so i kind of came up with a strategy that seems to be repeatable uh, which basically is creating a gradient of color then painting either your shadows or your highlights on top of it and you can either do the shadows when it's wet or dry sometimes both to get a nice variety so the way i did that is i started with like a light blue up here um, so it's pretty simple. We're going to start off with a light turquoise gradient and going down into a darker. I'm going to go a little bit darker than this photo on top shows. Um, so what I'll... Occasionally you see like areas that are illuminated with more of a greenish tint and that usually means the sun is flowing through there. Oops. And as we get closer to the bottom of that lighter area, we'll start um, adding more white to our brush and we'll do the same thing so what on I did up here was I came back in with a shadow color and just underneath some of those brighter spots that I added I did a really dark line or a dark area and it kind of changes its size and stuff but basically I'm just painting the tops of those waves that I already added just like um, anywhere or not everywhere but where I have some of these lighter lines I'm just tossing in some of that pure white kind of near the top so um, a huge thank you to my patrons it's all thanks to my patrons that we do this every month and I am just so grateful for their support you've been keeping me alive during my move and everything so thank you so much